you have to start thinking way outside of the box. Your imagination has to expand to, to start to meet the world. I mean, if you can't think of the Anno Domini timeline as a world unto itself, when they talk about parallel universes, the universe, universal means Catholic. So, so if you, the concept of a parallel universe, if Curtis Richard Kallenbach exists on the Anno Domini calendar, and there's another calendar that runs parallel to that and it began earlier called the Old Testament, which is the Anno Mundi calendar. People don't realize how crazy this sounds, but today, um, I should look it up on the internet just to see what today actually is uh, according to the Anamundi calendar. Today's date, the 19th of May, 2014. That's Anno Domini. That's the New Testament calendar. That's the, that's the Jesus fish calendar. That's the, the, that's the Jesus Christ calendar. That's the Passion of the Christ play calendar. That's the calendar that Pope Gregory created and laid out in 1582. In fact, the Anno Domini calendar began in 1582. That's right. <laughs> that's how crazy it is. <laughs> okay. Now, the, that's, it's also called the Gregorian calendar. Yeah. And it's also called the Gregorian epic. Mm. Well, don't, don't, I mean, big, long books and stories, aren't they yeah. called epics? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, if I, if I, if I convert... May 19th, 2014, to the Hebrew calendar. It's called the 19th of E-R, I-Y-Y-A-R. And the date, the year, is 5774. Wow. That's th that's 3,760 years difference. Wow. So, so... Let's just look at that. The, 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 the powers that be, the, we're, we're going to call them the Zionists, the, 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 the Old Testament Jews, the, um, it doesn't matter, the, the, the Society of Jesus, the Jesuits, those people in the know that are controlling the world, none of their children are born to the Anno Domini calendar. Why? Because the Anno Domini calendar, the Jesus Fish calendar, starts with the year one and goes to 2014. Mm-hmm. The Hebrew calendar starts at the year zero and goes to 5774. So the, the, the Gregorian calendar is a subset yes. running parallel to the Hebrew calendar. Now, if today is 5774 to the powers that be, the bankers of the world, the people that own the, the world, I'm not saying planet, I'm saying world, yeah. that we know, the two-dimensional world. If they live in the world 5774, which is the Old Testament world, and Curtis Richard Kallenbach was born September 19th, 1960, to the Anno Domini world, which is that that character lives in the world that's 2014, which is a difference or, or 3,760 years in the past. Yeah, it's history. Yeah, Curtis Richard Kallenbach is history. So, so the here and now, the right now, the moment in time that we live in is neither one of these calendars. That's right. It's neither calendar. Now, the, but the, the, things, the thing that to remember, though, is that if you look at these calendars in a two-dimensional realm, if you, if you put up one ab above the other, if you put 5774 above uh, 2014, what you'll realize is that Curtis Richard Kallenbach is down in the earth dead 3,760 years in the past. What's weird about the idea of time travel in their artificial, fictitious realm is it's very easy to do. If I claim to be Curtis Richard Kallenbach, I am here and now in the, on September 19th, or I'm on the 19th of May, 2014. But if I am Curtis Kallenbach and not subject to the Anno Domini calendar, but I might be subject to the 5774 Anno Mundi calendar, I can actually travel forward in time by, by, by releasing or letting go of the AD character. Mm -hmm. I can travel 3,760 years into the future by letting go of Curtis Richard Kallenbach. In other words, remember... 
it's all in our head. The whole construct is in our head. If I claim to be a character in the one on the one calendar, I'm I'm subject to the the powers that be in the other calendar. Now let me ask you this: Can you hear anybody scream right now, George, that lived three thousand seven hundred and sixty years ago? No. Can you help them in any way, shape, or form uh, uh, do anything? Can you help any family member that lived three thousand seven hundred sixty years in the past? Uh, well, <laughs> figuratively speaking, not, no. How no. about this? If, if your family member from 3,760 years ago yeah. bound, bound themselves to a pledge or a promise. Mm, exactly. In, indefinitely mm. that, 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 that bound your family. Yeah. Then what about when you arrive today into a courtroom that that character was bound to that many years ago? Yeah, and you're exactly. the only living relative. 